Hello, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> yeah. So we recite Guru Chajamani Buddha's name mantra together uh, while reciting. Uh, uh, those who have refuge practice do refresh your refuge, uh, refuge uh, precept. And as well as um, refresh your altruistic motivation for entire future existence, especially for this life, this year, this month, this week, this very day, and this very moment, uh, and this very session to be most beneficial for your own ultimate uh, liberation, as well as for the rest of the numberless sentient beings happiness all the way up to uh, full enlightenment. <clears throat> yeah, so before doing that, try to settle in the present moment. Um, feel the cushion, feel the ground. Then mm, um, be aware of that uh, the natural breathing in and out, and mm, try to uh, stay focused on uh, the being aware of the breathing. <clears throat> then try to extend the exhalation and in inhalation of the breathing slightly longer than normal. And when the breathing goes out, you know, um, visualize and understand uh, it carry out all the, you know, physical, mental tiredness, uh, inconvenience, including of uh, negative karmic imprints in the form of uh, dark smoke. And when you breathe in, simply feel gathering all the positive uh, energy, blessings. Then uh, that helps to you know, heal and activate you know, all the channel chakra. The, 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 nervous system, uh, the channel chakra drops and including the, the mind into absolute uh, positive. Mm. 
yeah, on the basis of that positivity, uh, body and body and mind, then refresh, refuge, and bodhicitta motivation. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, so tonight uh, the topics uh, on Guru devotion, the, mm, the few classes uh, mm, on the teachings of the Guru Yoga practice, or Guru devotion. So I think we have already done about two sessions. Uh, <clears throat> one of the sessions I was uh, uh, emphasizing the mainly the definition, you know, uh, what really represents the guru. Uh, then <clears throat> the, I think the second session, uh, yeah, uh, the definition and the, the purpose, uh, you know, of reliance on the on the guru. And all the uh, mm, <clears throat> uh, to very much to establish the basis where you can practice the Guru Yoga um, and able to receive the maximum benefit you know, out of it, mm, laying out the qualities of the Guru. Uh, and qualities of the uh, disciple, mm, then uh, in in you know in different ways uh, to establish the relationship, good disciple relationship. Mm. So on the basis of this, then now we can you know discuss uh, even more serious teaching in relation to the uh, the guru you know guru yoga practice or the guru devotion, which is how to uh, relate the guru in the practice uh, in in you know in thoughts and in actions you know? so that's the that is the main homework that we need to uh, cultivate in order to 
receive all the benefits of having qualified guru and being qualified teacher mm. uh, through the practice of uh, relating in thought and action to the guru where all the uh, you know the blessings of progressing on the path by actualizing the path within our continuum you know starts and 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 happened you know all the way up to achieving a result in you know, guru buddhahood <clears throat> uh, even at the beginning you know just to have the faith and conviction uh, to practice just like the way how all the past buddhas bodhisattvas and our gurus and all the successful practitioners uh, such as those of the masidas have actualized the benefit including of one lifetime enlightenment uh, only can be done uh, when we have the preconditions you know otherwise uh, it's so hard to practice the, the way um, you know the way how uh, you should cultivate according with the teaching according accordingly how you know all the past uh, uh, buddhas and our gurus have practiced and and succeeded in the in the in the path you know uh, uh, just directly learning how to relate in thought and how to re relate in action doesn't work with us uh, maybe in good time you know you may you may find fantastic but in tough time you will give up uh, easily can give up easily can be misunderstood misinterpret uh, and you may find incapable uh, to 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 live in such practice mm -hmm. uh, so the so the pre conditions to cultivate this practice is is uh, our most important uh, you know uh, not just finding qualified guru but yourself also has to be qualified student remember the arya there was you know in the, in 400 stanza the the three qualification that student has to have like non partisan uh, you know basis basic wisdom to know how to uh, you know differentiate what is good for what is what is truly good for you and what is you know truly you know not good for you even though your sensual mind may feel is nice wonderful uh, but um, but even even it may be so hard uh, at that time when you're engaging in the, in the in the practices but then you you have the basic wisdom to understand that this has the this ha this has the potential to bring great ultimate benefit so on the basis of such uh, knowing then you stay foot in the practice <clears throat> uh, you know our emotion the emotional and our normal minds normal sensual minds way of making decision what to be adopted and what to be abandoned is based on uh, what sensual mind pleases in that time you know what what's sensually pleasing that time uh, you know what emotionally pleasing that time and we think this is good for you this is beneficial to you you know and if if that time essentially emotionally not pleasing to you it is hardship to you then usually you give up you see so when you practice any form of dharma practices most of the dharma practices in that present time when you're engaging the practice mostly it's unpleasant honestly <laughs> Mostly is uh, is quite nasty. Uh, uh, outwardly, even inwardly, uh, it's very hard. Hard, not not easy. One, you know, we may think the moment you start to practice dharma, you know, everything is wow, wow. You know, no, no, no such thing. You know, everything is well, unbelievable. I never expected this. Such a miserable. <laughs> you know, I didn't know that practicing dharma can be so miserable. <laughs> Uh, you see, but then those ripened students say, "Oh, this miserable is the doorway to liberation. You know, this hardship is the doorway to liberation. 
This hardship is the doorway to purifications of all the faults, you know. Then your 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 determination, your perseverance, you know, is like so steadfast like that, you see. So similar goes to this Guru Yoga practice. <clears throat> when you find your Guru, you know, you saw the, all the quality before, before you commit yourself to the Guru. Everything is, you know, like perfect portrait, the Guru's, you know, Buddha's quality in the text. <laughs> yeah, you know, you describe, the, you know, even the statue of the Buddha, you know. Uh, the Buddha's quality, you know, you will admire this. This statue is the best in everything. You know, even there's a big diamond rock, diamond put outside uh, out there. And after you hearing all the qualification of the statue of the Buddha's quality in it, you will you will you will choose this statue than the big mountain diamond. So when we when we first meet the guru, it sounds like that. You know, it's it's like it's so exciting, so wonderful. But then when you really start to engage into the actual cultivations of the uh, guru devotion in thoughts and action, there you struggle. There, there then sometimes guru intentedly display, uh, you know, the, the role of antidote to, to, to purify our thick, thickening uh, you know, stubborn negativities. You know? And we learned that from Miladeva's life story. You know, if you read uh, the um, Kadamba masters and the 80 masters of the India, you know, learn their biography. You know? every, one of them, every one of them, when they relate to the Guru, is went through an unbelievable nasty time. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, like, yeah. Uh, like, you know, uh, Telopa relating to Naropa, you know, I mean, can you imagine, you know, she heard so much about Naropa, unbelievable, unbelievable quality, but then when he first meet and, you know, when, when establish the guru disciple relationship, then you see this nasty fisherman, you know, and Melarepa met the Marpa, you know, before that, unbelievable, glorious qualifications are said, but then first time, when when Miladepa saw Marpa, is someone is like in a householder, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, uh, heavy drinking man, <laughs> uh, and and very un inconsiderate kind of like like teacher, uh, you know. Then, okay, maybe this is maybe you know you may think is you know maybe I haven't seen yet all the other good quality. Abundance of good quality. So when you establish the Guru Disciple relationship, then you we all know how much Miladeva went through tough time. You know, uh, you see. So, so therefore, um, as I mentioned before, non-partisan. You know, your your purpose is fully enlightened. Your purpose is uh, your purpose of relating to the Guru is purify your activities and pursue enlightenment, which is accumulation of merit. You know, uh, then. Uh, uh, the qualified guru seeing in the Buddha, then you 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 develop that that pure view, that pure you know the 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 pure thought you know, and develop that until that spontaneously arises and arises even when guru manifest you know to behave like a street dog, you know behave like one of the nastiest person in your life, but then you still you know able to see perfect enlightened guru. And every display of the actions of that the guru is, you know, powerful teaching you know, to to you. You know, then when you commit your action, you know, you are, you know, ready to engage in any form of action. Everything, you know, you understood uh, deeply, not just emotionally, but deeply understood. It's a tool of purification, tool of accumulation of merit. Like how Miladepa, you know, committed. Uh, uh, to build the nine-story uh, building, uh, you know that Marpa Guru instructed for the purpose of his purification, you know, but never giving up, like how he how he did it. You know, uh, we have to come to that much. Uh, we may think that 
Milarepa, that time they able to do. In our time, the guru has to be more lenient. No, not it doesn't work that way. You know, the guru has to do the guru's job. Same thing that was done in ancient time and what what has to be done now and in future. And and as long as it's you know pursuing enlightenment, then a student also has to catch up with the practice. What Milarepa practice, we have no choice because. There's no kind of discount enlightenment that we can buy, you know, or bonus enlightenment, you know, discount enlightenment, discount part, you know. Uh, so the enlightenment is, is the same thing, you see, so like that. Okay, then we go through the text, the notes. So what, we, what it says here. <clears throat> yeah, so how to cultivate the guru devotion in thoughts and practice. So first, how to cultivate guru devotion in thoughts. Um, so I, um, not, like, not like many other teachings, you know, you can give your own thoughts on this, you know, like teachings like guru devotion, um, teachings on, you know, uh, uh, convincing the the existence of you know the like hell realms, the suffering of hell realm, hungry ghost realm, and other realms, the existence of other realms, including of you know, numberless sentient beings. So, so 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 many certain teaching really has to depend on the omniscient one's word, uh, not 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 like you know what. But I think so. You know, this this what I feel. You know, I have certain experience. You know, so certain teaching like this uh, is quite important to relate to uh, those uh, quotations. So that's the reason I try to uh, you know base on um, the some of the uh, you know uh, teachings, the quotations to illustrate this teaching. So uh, the tantra, uh, in the tantra bestowing the initiation of uh, tantra bestowing the initiation of Vajapan, it says, if you would ask Lord of the Secret, how disciples should view Master, then I would answer that they should view them just as they view the Bhagavan. So this is what we need to cultivate in our thought. You see, uh, we. We should view the guru just how we how we would view the Buddha. Hmm? If the disciple view their master in this way, they will always cultivate virtues. You know? So there's a benefit to you. Uh, it's not kind of you know, uh, not kind of like asking us to practice certain culture, uh, certain someone's you know, uh, um, uh, view so ordinary, someone to view so, so high level, you know, not like that. Because ultimately for your own sake of benefit, uh, you should view, view that way, you should cultivate in your heart that way, you know. And the benefit is in your heart will be never separated from cultivation of virtue. Uh, then it, they continue, it says, they will become Buddha and benefit the entire world. Mm. Uh, because of viewing your Guru as a Buddha, then you will achieve all the Buddha's quality and how Buddha will benefit uh, the whole world of, of sentient being and yourself will eventually have those capabilities. Mm. Then the Tundra, uh, similar in, from the same text, it says, keep the master's good quality in mind. Never, never seize upon their fault. Mm. This is how we should cultivate in our thought. Mm. Mm. Only good qualities. Uh, uh, even the, the, the guru, in actual fact, um, just an ordinary person, happened to be just an ordinary person, 
uh, not the actual Buddha, but uh, and 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 at the same time may not have may not possess so many glorious uh, qualities. Maybe behaving very humble, very ordinary. You know that that nothing much. Uh, you know, shining those you know Buddha's qualities, and even even there may be just one quality, uh, the quality of just able to teach you. You know, uh, qualities of he or she just being out there uh, as someone that I can relate as a guru, and. Even even you know even it's just that much, you should, uh, you know, you should focus w- with sense of uh, fortunate, sense of gratitude, uh, sense of blessing, uh, and uh, regard. You know those are the qualities of the Buddha. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are the qualities of the Buddha, and. Through there, you try to magnify in your understanding, even that humanity, even that quietness, even not displaying those, you know, outshining kind of quality. In fact, it's the qualities of the Buddha, you know, the qualities of humanity, you know, qualities of uh, self uh, overcoming self importance, which are the Buddha's quality. Qualities of, uh, mm, you know, understanding that is, that is a skillful means for that guru to relate to me so easily. If my this guru, you know, uh, glorify with with all, you know, shine out with all the Buddha's quality, maybe I may not have opportunity to be so close. So, because of that humility, because of that ordinariness, because of behave very much like myself, that's why so accessible, you know, so close. Uh, you know, I don't have to squeeze between thousands of students. I can just easily, easily can meet him or her, easily can talk to her or him, you know. And you just, you just. Uh, you just uh, um, magnify, you know, from that one, from that one quality. Then regard rest of the other you know, quality, even, um, yeah, even even those, you know, uh, even those certain teaching unable to answer, you know, you as a student, you know, I'm regarding him or her as my Buddha, but when I when I ask question, he or she can, cannot even answer my my, my question. Even that, you need to have the ability to uh, see that as a teaching to you. You know, see that as a teaching to you. Uh, it's, it's such as the Guru's silent is asking me to, you know, be your own therapy, like yesterday what we discussed. Be your own therapy. Be your own Guru. You know, you cannot depend all the time in my presence. I may, I may, I may. I mean, you know, we are all lies in impermanent nature. I may be disappeared in any moment. You know, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's like training you to be uh, self-sufficient, guiding yourself, you know, be, be independent, uh, be, you know, um, mature student. You know, you're trying to understand like that, you see. So if you start to interpret from the quality point of view, you see, you can interpret everything as a Buddha's quality, everything as a Buddha's teaching. So, so therefore, this can be done when the student carries these three types of qualities: wisdom, you know, effort, non-participation. You know. If you have this quality, then you are able to do that. Otherwise, you know, so easy to see faults. You know, you see. Mm-hmm. So, like that. That's what I mean. Mm-hmm. Never see upon their faults. So even even they display, uh, you know. After you, you know, this this is now we are talking about someone whom you already established guru disciple relationship. You know, this is not in a trial period. 
you already establish good disability relationship. And that we have to relate to ourselves. You know, up to now, we may have, you know, so many different gurus. You know, uh, some of you may have established guru disciple relationship without even learning the teaching and, and just heard about guru disciple relationship. And that excitement, maybe you already established guru disciple relationship with someone. And now your, our job is for you that your job is to practice just like that. <laughs> There's no, uh, go back to say that, okay, no, 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 I want to be in the trial period, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's too late. But then there's only benefit if you're able to develop this practice from now on, even if you happen to establish guru disciple relationship without proper preparation before, you know, since, you know, there are many in Buddhist world, people have received initiation without even having basic Buddhist knowledge. You know, even uh, knowing what really the guru is, you know, by recommendation of your friend, you know, you are put into a initiation mandala zone and receive initiation and say, this is your guru. And, and even at the end of the initiation, the guru pronounced that whatever I say, you have to listen. I will listen accordingly what you have, what you ordered to me. And you even repeated that, you committed to that, you know. Uh, but then, uh, if you know, if, if you practice, uh, you know, correctly in thought and action, uh, then even you happen to establish guru disciple relationship with someone is mistaken, uh, for you, you will still receive the benefit. For your training, you still will receive the benefit. Uh, but then if the guru is misbehaving, because, in fact, the guru is not qualified. Then, uh, even in the Lamrin teacher, teachers ask, physically, stay distant. You know, and then, even the, even the person teaches wrong teaching, you, you, you stay distant. You, you try not to uh, listen to the teachings. But then, you continue to uh, relate, you know, through the practice, you know, through the thought. Uh, you know, and action, you see, we will discuss about it. like action, you know, still uh, be respectful for your own benefit, still see in Buddha for your own benefit, you know, but physically stay distant. You know, even interaction, even the teaching, you know, since you know very clearly that it's wrong teachings, stay distant, you see, so like that. Uh, so even in that circumstances, never see faults for your own benefit. So it's very tricky, uh, very, very tricky and very, had to practice very carefully in this area. You know? uh, so even with the, even you, you have the unqualified guru, but because of your guru yoga practice, you still receive the benefit of relating to an actually Buddha, you know, guru who is actually Buddha. Hmm? Hmm. So therefore they never cease upon their faults. Keeping their good quality in mind, you will reach attainment. Seizing upon their faults, you will not. You see, so not even a, a moment, uh, you know, have negative uh, uh, about you know uh, guru, or not even a moment um, uh, to reflect on even a one fault of the guru. Not even in the moment, you know. We have to put effort. The imprint becomes so strong that not even uh, have a dream seeing falls in the Buddha. When we are awake, our awareness is awake, then surely never to see falls. You know, never, never to see falls. Never, never, never to see falls. Yeah. Even for a moment, and even for one fault, you know, never to do that. Okay. Because uh, that will harm there will obstacle progress on our path. If we, if we see quality, that will condition you know, our progress on path. Then the, um, the 10 teaching sutra says, develop the following ideas with respect to your teacher. I have wandered for a long time through silent existing and they search for me. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so you see, um, if Guru didn't come to existing in our life, uh, we will continue to wander inside existing as life for eons. We have been wandering, lost. You see, at this very moment that we meet the Dharma, you know, have some sense of uh, uh, interest in accumulating virtues, uh, abstaining from you know, committing non-virtues. In fact, all are the blessings that are driven from the Guru. You know, whether you have already met the Guru or not, uh, there is a karmic you know, link you know, there's, there's a karma is committed from the past lifetime is influence, influencing, ever benefiting in, in some way to us. So whatever goodness that we have, you know, we have to understand as this is the Guru's, um, you know, the impact that comes from the you know, existing Guru. I have been asleep, having been obscured by delusion for a long time, and they wake me. They pull me out of the depth of oceans of existence. I've entered a bad path, and they reveal the good path to me. They release me from being bound in the prison of existence. I have been worn out by illness for a long time. The illness of uh, uh, you know, compounded suffering, and the, the contamination of karma and delusion. Hmm? Uh, and they are, they, you know, the guru, you know, play the role of the doctor uh, to diagnose, you know, our sickness. You know, the ignorant and the delusion will never, uh, never, you know, claim, uh, you know, they are like a disease to us. You know, our ignorant mind, our deluded mind our obscured mind, uh, always glorify the mind of ignorance, the idea of ignorance, the idea of delusion. You know, uh, even after meeting Dharma, you know, there are so many times so obvious that we, we really, you know, so easily convince the demand of ignorance, the demand of delusion, like attachment, you know, so easily, uh, you know, convinced, you know, you know, when attachment arises, you know, it's, it's like, it's like, like everything makes, makes sense and make nice, feel nice, you know, and convince and you, you fulfill the urge of the, of the, of the, of the attachment. You know, you, you serve accordingly the demand of attachment and that, you know. Mm. Uh, so, so only the, the antidote, the Dharma, whether it's the attitude, the path of attitude or path of wisdom, uh, which revealed by the Guru, you know, in this um, uh, era of Shachamani Buddha's time, revealed by Guru Shachamani Buddha. You know, then, when we uh, meet the human Guru in person, that Guru, you know, reveals the path. You know, and that, uh, uh, you know, catches all the uh, misleading guides of the delusions and ignorant, and uh, provide us all the cure, the antidotes. Uh, then, by you know, constantly living in the antidote, cultivating antidote, you know, we can see that we come up to a quite a progress in a healthy living. As a healthy, healthy being, isn't it? You know, comparing to some time in our life, when looking, you know, comparing to now, you know, after meeting the guru, after meeting the teaching, uh, you see so much progress, isn't it? Uh, you know, you become truly much more healthier, uh, healthier in the virtue. You know, so much closer to liberation. You know, getting so so further away from uh, the control of karma and delusion, isn't it? it we, we are come to a position very much like 
we're just uh, spending time to finish up the past definite karmic result only. Otherwise, you know, indefinite karmas to, you know, we are, we are almost like not committing any uh, negative conditions to complete indefinite karma to be a definite karma for us to continue to remain in silent existence for a long time. Not doing that, isn't it? We are, in fact, uh, you know, working very, very, very well, very, very hard to to uh, to complete all the indefinite virtuous karma be, to be a definite virtuous karma. You know, the way how we, we behave, the way how we practice day to day. You know, it's very much like the, in, in that position now. And that is due to the guru. You know, guru, guru revealing, guru diagnosing our sickness and guru providing the medicine and guru also uh, acting as a nurse to, to, re, to remind us timely, uh, you know, to make sure that we take the, we take the medicine timely, you know, uh, so that's 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 like all of us, you know, try our best to do daily commitments properly, timely, you know, or at least you know, try not to forget morning, you know, mod- set correct motivation. Uh, then in the daytime, you know, try to you know stay as much as uh, close to the 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 altruistic motivation we set in the morning. Then at the at the end, uh, you know, do some purification practice and try to do dedication. It's very much like uh, taking, you know, the medicine in the three times a daily, uh, uh, you know, and, and guru are the one that, uh, you know, the, through the, through the teaching, you know, through the, the, their living example, the moment we think of them, the moment we hear their teaching, you know, the moment just to have the awareness that I have guru in my life, you know, make sure that you take the medicine timely, isn't it? You really make sure take the medicine timely. <laughs> uh, hmm. yeah. And even in case you have you forget to take uh, the one sessions of medicine, then sometimes you know guru will give you know two dose, two dose next time. You know, and so if you forget to do uh, today Vajrasava practice and say tomorrow you say do double, it's like kind of take. Take double pill. <laughs> uh, mm. Then, like Guru, you know, uh, like open so many clinics. You know, you don't have to go to big hospital all the time. You know, like the Guru's main mandala, like in a monastery, you don't have to go all the time there. Like, like this center is like the clinic open. You know, just 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 nearby you can go anytime. You know, you know. Then Guru also send uh, many nurses. To, to, to make sure that, you know, the medicines are taking effectively, like, like us, you know, gurus and us, like the nurses, you know, to go around the different centers and you know, repeat the teachings. It's very much like, like that, you see? Yeah. So, and yeah, then, then here, you know, so many, uh, senior practitioners that who, who lead, you know, teachings and meditations, uh, you know, uh, act on behalf of the guru. Uh, it's, it's like a assigned, uh, qualified doctors in different, you know, local clinics, you know, making sure you take your medicine timely. Like that, you know. So these are all a play of the guru's blessing, you see. Mm-hmm. They are the rain cloud that put out my blazing fire of attachment. And the life. So true. You see, uh, you know, even after meeting the guru and the teacher, you know, still our desire grasping is so strong. Uh, can you imagine if we, if we didn't meet the guru, if we didn't meet the teacher, uh, you know, how grasping that we may be, how grasped person we may be, you know, completely overwhelmed. You know, grasping of attachment, grasping of ego, you know, grasping of aversion, uh, grasping of materialism, uh, you know, grasping of, uh, grasping, you know, completely living in the hallucinated, uh, uh, you know, permanent grasping of life, 
uh, you know, like that. Uh, uh, because of, you know, meeting the Guru, how renounced we become. You know, all these are, uh, like, Guru is like a rain cloud, you know, that put out a blazing fire uh, of our attachment, like, you know, you see. So we need to uh, cultivate that in our thoughts. We need to meditate on that. So this is how we, you know, relate to our Guru uh, in, in thought, you know. These are the correct things, you see. Mm. Then also the arrays of scout, uh, scout st stuck, S T A L K S Sutra says, uh, array of stuck Sutra says, Youth, youthful Sudana, the teachers are those who protect me from all miserable realms. They cause me to know the uh, sameness of the phenomena. Mm. You see, the guru is the first person even in our conventional life. Our spiritual guru is the first person who provides us refuge, you know, refuge precept, uh, or even lay precepts or any precepts. I would say, uh, uh, just just offering the very foundational individual liberation precept of refuge, protect us from falling in the three lower lands. So, so, if we learn about the sufferings in the three lives, and the Guru have provided that protection through their lineage blessing, unbelievable. You know? I mean, what can be more kinder than that? It's like, you know, uh, if we happen to fall in three lives, that will prolong us uh, being in samsara longer time. The more the negative, negative realm you born, uh, continues, you know, more intense committing of the negative karma. And that, uh, you know, long time, you know, we, we will be stuck in the lower realm and it go even further, you know, lower to the lower realms like that, you see. So, so, mm, while achieving this precious human rebirth, you know, Guru providing us even just a refuge, uh, making sure that, you know, we can uh, steadily continue, you know, our journey to liberation, you know, higher to higher uh, stages, stages of reincarnation, and all the way up to, you know, liberation, enlightenment. You know, from that point of view, it's unbelievable. Uh, kind, compassionate, uh, loving, caring mm, uh, for our own well-being. So that's 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 how our guru is. You see, they cause me to know the sameness of phenomena, you know, through the teachings of uh, uh, conventional and ultimate reality. You know, make us understand uh, the absolute truth of existence on self and phenomena. You see, and 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 cause us to purify. Even the root of the entire miserable realm, which is the ignorance, you see. So, Guru caused that. I see. Uh, they show me the path that lead to happiness, and uh, and those that uh, show me the path that leads to happiness. Those that lead to unhappiness. Oh, okay. Uh, show me the path that lead to happiness. Even this life, you know, if you if you follow exactly the Guru's instruction, uh, you see, without any doubt, like completely submitting yourself hundred percent to your Guru, uh, you know that's the that's the starting point of true happiness, uh, and that's the starting point of accumulating long-term future happiness, lasting happiness, you know, including the happiness of liberation and enlightenment. Uh, and that's again so true, you know. Uh, assign Buddha to be your guide, uh, you know, and uh, give us the guideline of the Dharma. Uh, then, 
provide us the community of Sangha. Uh, just that make us so secured, so protected, especially protected from the karma, you know, negative, negative karma, negative karma creations, you know, you see. So this is what happens, you see. Uh, everything exists in interdependent cause and condition. Uh, all the happiness comes, you know, result of accumulation of virtue. All the suffering is the result of non-virtue. So the Guru's uh, actions in our life is all about creations of virtue, which means uh, immediate experience when you engage in virtue, it is beneficial. Uh, the ultimate benefit, it brings it bring happiness. It brings true happiness, including liberation. You see? Uh, they instruct me in the deeds, always auspicious. Uh, always auspicious uh, in virtue. You see? They reveal to me the path to the city of omniscience. You know, lumbering like lumbering, and the entire teachings, gradual path to enlightenment. Right, you see, hmm? uh, the path that which we never traveled before, and the path that many people, you know, almost, uh, uh, you know, entire human being in this you know silent existence have never traveled before. Hmm? Uh, so it's it's uh, you know the guru revealed the unknown path that guru have traveled. The guru have experience, uh, you see, uh, uh, and could, you know can imagine, you know, even in our ordinary life, if we are lost in 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 a, in a very miserable place, and someone provide us a direction and lead us, you know, not just providing, even lead us, you know, even just providing a good GPS, you know, that already would be so helpful. helpful. You know, you see, but then on some more on top of that, you know, say, I will sit beside you to, you know, lead you all the way up to your destination. So Guru, Guru offer that, you see. So is uh, the, you know, revealing the unknown path uh, and the perfected path. And it's a path to omniscience, path to all the happiness is, is what can be kinder than, you know, uh, providing such such blessing, isn't it? They guide me to the state of omniscience. Mm -hmm. They cause me to enter the oceans of uh, uh, reality span. They show me the sea of past, present, and future phenomena, and they reveal me the uh, reveal me the cycle of noble beings assembly. Uh, the teachers, the teachers increase all my virtues. Remembering this, you will weep. It says like that, you know, in the sutra, it says that you, know, you, 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 you relate to your guru with this kind of thought cultivation, then you say, you know, without any uh, choice, you know, you know, you will weep because of your soul heart touched. So we need to express that from, from there with your heart. So this is just a word that, you know, uh, for us to mm, uh, know, giving ideas. But then they translate to your own individual uh, relation to your guru, uh, you know, very much the same meaning, but then may maybe different ways the guru, guru must have affect you. You know, you cultivate that, you know, and then you, you will have a tear of you know, joy, tear of heart touch, tear of inspiration, you know, and you use deeply we start to feel closeness to your guru. Then the great um, uh, master Patamba Sangye he said, see the guru uh, you know, greater than the Buddha. Sangye like the Lama Lhaba so what to Sedri Chungwa Dengriwa if you see the Guru even greater than the Buddha, or, or in another word, in meaning, the, see the Guru is kinder than the Buddha. So the actual meaning that. See the Guru kinder than the Buddha. 
and uh, relate um, you know in devotion then the blessing uh, will will actualize within this lifetime mm, you know like that then uh, lama tsongkhapa's the song of the ex- ex- uh, spiritual experience uh, s- says that then the root of creating well and auspicious condition for all the excellence of this and future life is to rely properly with effort both in thought and action upon the sublime spiritual mentor who revealed the path mm. then uh, seeing this we should never forsake him even at the cost of life and please him with the offerings of implementing his words and his teachings i a yogi have practiced in this manner you who aspire for liberation too should do likewise you know lama tsongkhapa teach lama tsongkhapa teach us like that you see his his realization in one lifetime in atman you know lama tsongkhapa actualize full enlightenment in the illimited state in the sambhavaka form you know before taking the reincarnation so within one lifetime he actualize uh, all the stages of the path is you know, the root because of the his guru devotion practice uh, so like that so if we were if we wish to achieve uh, the benefit of the spirituality like lama tsongkhapa did then you know we should practice the way how lama tsongkhapa practice uh in, in relation to his guru mm-hmm. so uh the teaching the guru teach the pit instruction that we receive uh initiation you know the commitment that we receive uh then uh you know commentaries and transmissions that he provide then we we we, we cultivate the guru yoga uh in you know in in the practice of inseparable from learning contemplation and meditation and you know uh, diligently developing yourself you know, in that way so then as uh, then uh, lama tsongkhapa mentioned in the foundation of good quality the foundation of all good qualities is the kind and venerable guru correct devotion to him is the root of the path by clearly seeing this and applying great effort please bless me to rely upon him with a great respect uh, so you know understand have con- full conviction the root of you know all the qualities of the enlightenment is is, is the guru yoga practice mm-hmm. Uh, then geshe poto wa kadam geshe poto wa said if you don't have respect in thoughts and action to guru then even you rely on buddha there's no benefit even you stay close to buddha no benefit even you relate to buddha no benefit like such as lekpe karma like you know like devadatta you know and uh, there 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 are many other examples like such as devadatta we all know from the buddha's uh, story you know he is one of the closest person closest monk to the buddha you know living historical buddha but then due to his obscuration and ego mainly his ego he see only faults in buddha you know <laughs> and he tried to do everything opposite what buddha does what buddha say and he uh, regard and claim and 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 pronounce everywhere that buddha is cheater liar you know whenever he teach whenever he travel to the villages when he talk about you know loving kindness compassion uh, then uh, all all the teaching you know he sees that as a skillful skillful ways to cheat the villagers you know to receive offerings uh, to 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 receive uh, respect you know so regarded him as a cheater uh, you know 
Mm. And uh, and uh, when Buddha eat Buddha eat, uh, you know, like Buddha put salt in his food, and he make sure that you know this, you know, just make sure do everything opposite what Buddha does because everything he does is is mistake. So he he tried to eat without salt, like that kind of thing, you know. They're all sort of uh, so much, and uh, and he was unable to protect from his past karma, and he born into Lord Ilam. So even he was with Buddha. He was one of, one of the closest person to Buddha, and he born into Lord Ilam. So this is what he meant, you see. Mm -hmm. mm. so, so in all scriptures, you know, uh, Directly or indirectly, you will see uh, the importance of relying on the Guru, the faults of not relying on the Guru, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is not uh, kind of, and then, and, and um, yeah, the advantage of relying on the Guru and disadvantage of not relying on the Guru. Mm -hmm. uh, then all the benefit that, you know, re re relating to the Guru correctly in thoughts and actions that, you know, all, all the uh, the quotations that, uh, that that emphasized before clearly you can see uh, this is not something you know your guru make up when your guru teach the teaching on guru guru devotion to the student it's not like not like the teaching saying that you should respect me you know you should obey my order you should regard me as a buddha you should serve me. You know, it doesn't mean that. You know, it is the is is the pure teaching of the Buddha. Uh, you see, uh, in in all sutra and tantra, uh, the, you know, treatises of the Buddha's collections, you know, teachings, and emphasize that. You know, and that uh, uh, seriously, you know, cultivated the practice by the Indian great masters. Uh, then this tradition traveled to Tibet, and Tibetan great masters cultivated, uh, you know, seriously about it, like the Kantama masters, you know, who, who, who are the uh, evidence, uh, you know, achieving the the benefit, and who are also the evidence that none of the earlier masters, the Kantama, who live a life with, you know, without depending on the guru. Or not having guru, you know, you know, all had their guru, all followed their instruction. The masidas, you know, intense commitment of retreats is 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 a, is a direct instruction of the guru. All the kadamba masters, uh, uh, such a advanced and intense, uh, you know, very strict practice is instructions of the guru. You know, following the instructions of the guru. You know, uh, then up to today. Like you saw the Lama, like in Kyabjan Lama you know, we have the direct example that we can witness through our own naked eyes. You know, we can feel it. Uh, you know, we can be to witness a uh, live example of you know, Guru devotion practice, you know, Guru Yoga practice, you know. You see, you know, when Numbache made his, uh, Meet his gurus. You know, there's one time uh, in Bauda in Kathmandu, uh, you know, at the Bauda circumambulation area, uh, he suddenly bumped up with one of his gurus uh, from whom he received an initiation. Uh, then that day was uh, uh, dizzling. And those of you who went there, you know, it's very dusty. Then little drizzling will make it very muddy. The moment you, you saw you go right there, he make a long prostration. Long prostration, you know. Like, you know, many of us, like myself, first I will, I will concern about getting my rope dirty. Or maybe I need to put a carpet first, then only I prostrate. You know? But, but for him, the moment he saw, that's it. He saw the Buddha. In the guru, right there, you know. Or then, 
there are many times in at the airport, you know, he bum up, bum with the, with the, with the guru, uh, you know, certain guru from whom he received, you know, uh, to whom he regarded as a guru, then he received one transmission, you know, not even initiation, just one transmission. But he have regarded that person as his guru. Then, you know, right there, you know, it's suddenly in front of everybody, you know, it's, you know, people will feel, people will be shocked and what, what this, you know, people may think this is like crazy, you know, but actually it's you know, the practice right there, you know, that is, you know, long prostrations, you know, like that. You know, in, there, there are many more drastic practices, you know, more, it's like so spontaneous and so intense and so perfect, you know, Rupacha display, you know, throughout his life. Uh, you see, uh, mm. uh, then when he is with his guru, the gesture, the softness of his speech, the physical gesture of obedience, you know, they can imagine the heart, you know, the physical gesture, the verbal, the, the speech, everything, illustration of what he's thinking in his mind, isn't it? So much gentleness, so much kind of like. It's not because of, he's so scared of the guru. Is is you know he see the he see the the glow of the Buddha in that person who is whom he is regarded as a guru, and he's not even there to have a direct eye contact. Uh, you know because of his his pure view that he's seeing. You see, so uh, so you see. Not Michael should be home. Oh, I thought somewhere I from the ceiling, so someone is talking. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so you see, um, and he, he, he don't do that just to, you know, like, oh, holiness. You know? he, he does that with all the gurus, you know, like Rumbuche, as a lineage holder, he has so many gurus. You know, some guru, a hole on a certain lineage, some guru holds, you know, those other lineages. So in order for him to have all the lineages, lineages to pass according to the needs of the disciple, you know, himself need to put effort to receive so many lineages. So there may be so many, so many gurus, but whoever, you know, he sees even, uh, even of the, the reincarnation of the gurus, you know, those guru already, you know, pass away, you know, have all the same respect. You see, so see, see exactly like the Buddha and offer the respect both from body and you know, speech and, and heart, no questions. You see, so these are great examples, especially in the West. You know, we have uh, this culture of like, kind of like you know, sit on the same cushion. Uh, this is this is uh, this is, is a culture in the West, you know, nothing wrong with that, uh, you know, but if you are practicing. Um, this teaching, then the, the, um, it's very important to practice for, for our own benefit. Uh, so this practice has been derived from the, since Buddha's time. You know, since Buddha's time. Even when you look at every Panga drawing, you see the central Buddha and their attendants, how they sit. You know, even the size make, make, make uh, you know, the guru is bigger, the main Buddha bigger, then the following, you know, other Buddhas are smaller, or the attendants are smaller, or the Dakin Dakinis are smaller, like you know, like that. And uh all the Masi does drawings. Like even you you look at the um the Tsonga Gyaju, the 80, you know, Lama Tsongkhapa's life stories, you know, uh, many of the illustration is uh, in relation to the teaching. Then you will realize those small monks sitting down there. You know, so mm, even though we have a culture that, you know, we sit on the same seat, uh, but for the practice, I think it would be so wonderful to adopt the traditional practice that you, you know, learn to, you know, uh, sit lower than the guru. Because, because from that respect, you receive the benefit, enlightenment, you see, purification, you know, accumulation of merit, you see. So even guru says, sit. Sit together, you know. Uh, you, you, um, it's not like you're not following his advice, you know, because here you're showing your respect in action. You still insist to sit low. 
you know, uh, then uh, prostration, you know, you bow down to the wood, you know, all this. Uh, then uh, when you talk, you know, uh, you really try to like, you know, show the gesture of bit, bit obedience, you know, like if you happen to talk to so powerful person, you know, you, you, you won't do like that, isn't it? <laughs> you know, uh, so this, here the power is not about uh, conventional power, it's about enlightened quality, enlightened being, you know, so <clears throat> uh, uh, then foods, everything, you know, like serve first, uh, you know, then offer praises, uh, or at least just, you know, like showing so much uh, gesture, you know, physically and verbally, uh, the expressions of how much you regard the person. So these are very beneficial to, to, to adopt this culture, very, very, very beneficial, you know, immense of benefit. Mm. Mm. And, and we have this culture of like being very straightforward, you know, uh, which is good, which is good. But then in relation to guru disciple, if the guru say, okay, now you come and debate with me, then you debate like hell, you know, uh, you know, but then if guru didn't, didn't really initiate that, then just, just listen and, and, ob and observe, digest, you know, uh, you know, even though his discussion is so important, but then when it comes to actual guru disciple relationship, when you start to elucidate in your even conversation, there that you need to kind of uh, be be obedient and let the guru to initiate first. You know, so these are uh, it can be quite strange to this um, culture, but but then when related to practice, these are. Uh, this has its own charm. This has its own benefit. You know, this has its own benefit. You know, you have to, you know, very much that like you practice. You practice that uh, that until that you know you only have a word to say yes to everything. You know, I'm not boasting myself. But I have one story. Uh, in front of me, my guru always criticized me. You know. This, this is not good enough, you know, you are not good enough, you know, you know, this is not good, you know, not good enough in study, not good enough in practice, you know, not good enough, everything is not good enough. You know, like my late guru, Kichilama Poncho, when he treat me, like, um, there's not even one day, kind of like a kind word, say, okay, you well done, boy. Never. Never. It's all my, all, always, you know, uh, always uh, criticize and find limitations and falls in me. You see, uh, like I feel like you know I didn't really kind of thinking wrong. You see, uh, yeah, you see, but actually when you think carefully, yeah, you are thinking wrong. You know, and about to kind of caution. You see, you see what's going in your mind. You know. And I thought, what, what's going in my mind? You know, it's kind of like you are just trying to be too guru to me for what? Like, you know, you start to think very, very, very rebel way. But then think, later think quietly, yeah, you are kind of like cautioning me. And not there to say in word, but you see, sometimes it happens. So always catch you, you know, never. But then when he talked to other people, and I heard from other people, how true, I don't know, but he said, he says, you know, one thing good about Tendin Zopa is he only has a yes word. He, everything what I say, just yes. In the whole life, he only say yes. There's, there's no, no other second word. And he, he said, that's one good thing about him is, you know, there's, all, there's no second word than yes to his order. So I was, I asked this one nun told me like that. And, and he said, of course, he said, oh, he praised you. So and I said, are you sure you're lying to me? <laughs> he said, oh yeah, you know, he praised you so much. And then he said, oh, that's one thing. He, he made a very loud statement. And again, I'm like, oh, you know, he only has a yes to all the orders. And that's good, you know, like that. So, uh, uh, then, yeah, that, that, that's, that's true. 
my 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 time with him is like complete hundred percent submission, hundred percent submission, as if I have no mind myself. I don't know what to make any decision. Like a completely like vegetable. I I used to. I felt that when my master passed away, right there, I felt like I'm exactly like a vegetable. I have no mind to think what to do, what not to do, what is right, what is not right. Because I was too into just following the instruction, following the, the order, and like submitting completely, completely. Like there's no fear, there's no worries of the past, no worries of the future. It's like the, the day that I met him, which is around nine years old, uh, you know, living together completely. Uh, then until to the last last day, uh, is completely like completely submission. Uh, you see, and throughout that journey was always happy. Was so happy, like almost like like as if like there's no samsara for me. You know, and even I encounter sometimes bullies or by friends. Sometimes, you know, you, you, you sick, you hurt, but then you just feel like, you know, as if like, you know, you are with the best doctor. You know, why I worry? And, and you have the, you know, and hundred percent, like kind of knowing that this doctor will surely fix me. So that kind of, you know, but then, uh, when he passed away, then yes, uh, was like completely lost, blank. It's, it's like whole wall collapse like that. But then, uh, of course, you know, but there's also conventional trainings are there, like providing teachings, uh, you know, learning from other teachers, uh, then observing, you know, the masters, uh, you know, how he think, how he do things. Uh, then, I mean, you know, I didn't like kind of let myself to completely sing, completely carried away by get it away in that loss. So I try to take care of myself. Within half an hour, I, I revive. You know, I, I become, let's say, the, become, uh, we become a conscious vegetable. Become a conscious vegetable, you know? Well, then after that, then, then, then fell the blessing. Then fell the blessing, you know? Then everything makes sense. Which I never realized as almost I like, didn't make sense to anything. Like it means your own, your own, you know, intellectual capability that you didn't like. You know, if you say memorize, you memorize. You, know, you say eat, eat, you know, sleep, sleep, wake up, wake up. You know, uh, uh, think like that, I think like that. You know, don't think like that, don't think like that. But then from that onward, then everything makes sense. You know, then the power of the blessing. Uh, felt that time, you know, the intensity of the power, the power, you know, again, I'm not boasting, but really there are so many things that which person like me is in, incapable, you know, not possible at all. Even now when I look at back, you know, certain things in life that it's, it's, it's not, it's not you that who will achieve this, who will do that, you know, and, and the blessings are like so lively. Not just imaginary, you know. And I find where this blessing coming from, where this, you know, like an example. Uh, some of you went to Kopan, and there's a memorial stupa, Krishnamurti memorial stupa, you know. Initiated to build when 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 I don't have even a five rupee, Nepali rupee in my pocket, and I was when I initiated that, which is. Half an hour after I, I wake up from vegetable, I got a criticism that, you know, you, you know even, even for my own family, says, you don't even have a five rupee in your pocket and, you know, you, you want to do like this, you know, how possible? You're crazy. And even in the monastery, you know, uh, seniors, you know, they, they think I, I lost my mind. Like an example, yeah, for you people, for some other, it's so easy. But for me, someone is, Someone never guide myself, my, my own life. Someone, you know, never even know how to talk to people. Uh, you see, 
uh, no capability at all, zero. But then whatever you wishes, everything like kind of like that, you know, actualized accordingly, you know, not beyond your, like uh, going beyond your time frame. like accordingly happens. Uh, an example, an example like that. And that I would regard, you know, I, I understood this is coming from uh, submitting completely under the Guru's control. You know, submitting completely under the Guru's control. So that's what I feel. But I also understood that if you don't submit, you know, you submit, but then halfway, 50 50, then you, it's, it's, it's not good. You know, you, have, you better be, then you better prepare from your own capability, 50%. If you want Guru to take care, take care of you, everything, then you have to submit 100%, you know, uh, even cost of your life completely. And then I think the really, uh, really the blessing, you know, it really actualizes in, in real time. Like that, you know, so something, just, just an example. I'm sure you, all of you have, uh, I think, much more greater examples, you know. So I just share my, this small, experience small small uh, impact you know what what guru means to your life you know, when you when you submit like that you know. hmm? okay so maybe or oh, then maybe i will just quickly go through this or oh, then uh, so yeah then you know the nine attitude of guru devotion you know so these are the how we will again go through that text uh, maybe next session uh, so those are those are the like like very very straightforward guidance and just do like that you know you see but here before doing so uh, you know uh, how to rely uh, rely the guru in action is a Maitreya's ornament uh, the Mayana Sutra says rely on the teacher by way of respect material things service and practice. Hmm? Uh, respect of body, speech, and mind, or you know, like that. Uh, material things, if you are capable uh, in the material resources, then uh, you know support uh, you know, guru's activities, you know, and service, service of your time, etc. You know, uh, then practice. So the best, best. Uh, Practice in thought and practice in action, especially practice in action is living in developing yourself, living in the practice, you know, like the sadhana practice, wonder practice, lambrin meditation practice, lambrin study practice, etc. So living, dedicating your life in practice, uh, like Miladeva, you know, says, I have no material offerings to offer to my guru, you know, I have, I have my, the only, only offering that I, I offer, which is the best offering, is my practice, you know, so. So you see, so that's the best practice, you know, developing your heart, actualizing as much as realization on the path and, and the liberation, you know, as much as dedicating your time to uh, be in the service of elevating suffering and sentience. And that pleases the most, you know, to the guru, you know, and that's the best service. Mm -hmm. uh, those who are capable in teaching Dharma, teach. Those who are capable in doing retreat, do retreat. Those who are capable to do social work, do social work. Those who are capable of taking care of your family member, take good care of your family member in the name of your guru. You know, be very loving. Like, like you, you be the ambassador. You be the reincarnation. Uh, you be the uh, embodiment of the guru. You know, when you, when when you when you if you are taking care of your partner, when you if you are taking care of your family, you know, if or, or whatever you do, you know, like you you become the guru. You become the guru, and you you behave like the guru. You illusory guru's quality, you know. So that's the best offering to the guru, you know. Uh, so that's the best offering. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, then our Gosh has, you know, 50 verses on the guru, guru's guru devotion practice. So this is one of another text that you should study. It says, what need is there to say much here? Do whatever pleases your guru. Do whatever pleases your guru. Eliminate all the displease them. Analyzing this, strive it at it. Like that, you see? So whatever places Guru. So what places Guru? You know, 
Please is guru for you be you be in virtue, you be in practice, you develop your tapal. You know, the best pleasing is you become enlightened. You know, slightly lower than that, at least achieve liberation. Slightly lower than that, at least achieve the stages of the Arya path, then the stages of the uh, ordinary Buddhist path. And before that, that at least you become a good practitioner in this life, you know, oh, my disciple, you know, who who you know who is uh, really you know dedicating life in good practice is a good practitioner at least earn that respect uh, you see so if you, if you are sangha then you know preserve the vow as pure as possible be a good sangha good monk or nun you know uh, uh, so whatever whatever uh, samaya is given to you practice that intent without any transgression as much as possible you know then most of all uh, Illustrating uh, the the meaning of the the, the um, uh, guru yoga practice in our words, in our actions, when we are among people, means very you know means uh, express the dharma in your word, express the dharma in your action, uh, meaning uh, being very peaceful, very compassionate, very respectful, very kind, very gentle, very subdued, uh, you know, living in the service like that. You know? hmm? Mm, then, again, same, from the same text, it says, "Offering to your pledge, must uh, offering to your pledge, master constitute uh, continuous offering to all the Buddhas." Mm. So, if you make offering to Guru, you are making offering to all the Buddhas. You see, if you make offering to Buddha, not necessarily you making offering to uh, all the Buddhas or all the Gurus. You see, so offering to them is the Collections of merit. Um, you see, offering to Guru is collection of merit. Merits are the cause of your happiness. Merit are the causes for you to be, uh, uh, you know, collect all the resources to be beneficial for, for, for the rest of the sentient being. From the collections of merit and sublime wisdom comes the supreme attainment. You see, because of merit, you actualize wisdom and method. From the wisdom and method, then enlightenment will born. Uh, then uh, uh, Lama Tsongkhapa's uh, in the, in the, in the great Lamrim, he says, "One who wishes for the inexhaustible, one who wishes for the inexhaustible, offer to the Guru whatever is slightly appealing and whatever is very special. So even if it is slightly appealing, slightly pleasing to the Guru, also offer. You know, uh, even you have a great." Special offerings also offer, meaning everything you offer. <laughs> uh, uh, then, furthermore, the student, uh, the student's perspective uh, differ from the guru, guru's perspective. The student must do this offering because the guru are the supreme field through which the student accumulate the collections of merit and sublime wisdom. However, the guru must not take the gift into consideration. Very important. This is very important. If guru is always being consideration of uh, material gift, that show something is wrong. You see, this is another very important. From guru side, it's like, like only focusing on your practice. You see, it's never kind of expecting any material gifts. You know, here the teaching says, you see, if guru, however, the guru must not take the gift into consideration. Uh, so if, if there's such thing, then you know, if Guru is so materialistic, you know, Guru is so happy when you make money offering, when you make a big material offering, uh, you know, but then there's no bothering about, you know, how much you practice, uh, then something is wrong, you know. But then again, it is your Guru. So you take that as a teaching. Then physically, you're distant, but then still interpret that, to, to, that as a practice to you. You know, so this is how we should. Mm. Uh, then Vajadara, Vajadara statement, attainment follow proper reliance on the master. Thoroughly please your guru in all things. Uh, then Lamrim also says, in brief, you must strive to achieve, the, uh, achieve what pleases your guru and eliminate what displeases them, as I mentioned before, like that. Uh, then uh, Geshe Sharava, Kadam Geshe Sharava said, we use the word guru for whatever 
whatever it pleases by the practice and does not give even the slightest consideration to material gain. The teaching says that, you see. Mm. One, who does, one who does the opposite is not suitable to be a guru uh, for those wishing to achieve liberation. Okay, so I stopped here. Uh, that, that took your time already. Mm. So maybe next session, then we will go through the nine nine attitude of the good liberation practice. Then I also, if if you have time, then reason to overcome. So this is very from my note. Reason to overcome our impure view if guru manifests in mistake. You know how to overcome. We'll discuss about that. Then also there's a practice request to give rise to uh, request to not give rise to heresy to the guru. Then a few examples of guru devotion practitioners. Then um, requesting prayers of blessing, um, etc., like that. So we will discuss next time. Yeah. Thank you. Any questions? Otherwise, we will stop here. Okay. Let me go first. Keshi, we have a question online still. Yeah, so carry on then. Hi, Keshi. Yeah, so online carry on. Then after that, we'll go here. Uh, hi, Keshi. Um, Hello. Keshi, um, you mentioned no eye contact. Is that um, um a sign of, is it more respectful? <laughs> no eye contact? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, in, in our culture, if you don't eye contact, then it's like very strange, isn't it? <laughs> you know, uh, no, I think you can eye contact, but you can do like this. Oh, okay. You know, not like, you know, uh, <laughs> guru also, you know, like like that. And you also. <laughs> uh, so you, I think eye contact is okay, but, you know, uh, just like. Like the way like that, you know, it's like he's like up there like that. But when you when you bow down, then naturally you have to look up like that. <laughs> okay. That's just, a, you know, the culturally uh, like that. But then uh, uh, if it's inconvenient, then don't worry about it. Okay. And um, when Alcohol really recites stuff, um, how come it feels really good? But then when I recite it, it doesn't feel the same. What, what um, when the guru recites something, it feels good, but when I recite it, it doesn't feel the same. When someone it, recite, when guru recites, oh, I see. As a guru um, recites something and feel good, but when you recite that prayer, you don't feel that good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Yeah. Then you. Then maybe if you you want to feel the same way, then you. You, 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 you practice Guru Yoga by thinking yourself, Guru, inseparable, oneness. Then you recite it. Then maybe you may feel the same thing. Try it out. I don't okay. know. Try it out. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Hello? Can you hear me? Can yeah. you hear me on Zoom? Okay. Um, the West has a pedagogical tradition of um, dialogue question and answer that goes back to the ancient Greeks. You had talked about your relationship with the Lama of complete surrender and submission. So at what point in your training did you begin to question and analyze rigorously? Where is that allowed? In the debate field, I become crazy. With my classmates, okay. with my other seniors, but that's you know, the only time until you know they they have to tie me on the on the on the on the tree. Really, it was so wild and you know never giving up, questioning and 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 competing. But not during the teachings. During teaching, I listen like this. But then I go there, whatever question I have, I challenge with the other. Then I clarify from there, come back. Then I continue to listen. Did you ever have debates with your teachers in, uh, in the traditional oh, Tibetan yes, sense? Yes, the debates. Okay. Um, okay. Question. Debate. Debate with me. Yeah. Then also you can become crazy there. Oh, that's great. Okay. Yes. Yes. And some gurus, you know, they, you know, I, in, in Sera Monastery, I have two, two main guru, three main guru, but then uh, that's two senior one. One guru, 
you know, he, he don't prefer your question. So just listen, obediently. One another guru is, he loves you, make, you ask questions. So almost the class all the time is more about discussion, question, answer, finish. Okay. You know, and of course, as, as, as we, we like the question, answer, uh, you see. Uh, so it's, it's like that. So some, yeah. And when, when you ask to debate, then you really, but of course, uh, you know, we, we still try to control ourselves, you know, like the speech, not so harsh not so like to piercing the ear loud, you know, but, but make sure here, you know, then the gesture also a bit more, 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 more humble, but still quite hard, uh, but not as, as aggressive as like, what do you do with your classmates? There's a good YouTube video with Tenzin Gache and another monk in English showing the Tibetan debate style. If some of you don't know it, it's look it up. It's yeah. great to see. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So we stop. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Oh, I, I thought you were saying stop. Oh. Okay. Okay. So we stop. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So we dedicate the merit, um, just like all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and Gurus would dedicate. Yeah. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.